Hello friends, today we'll be learning how to clean the blower motor on the 6th generation Mitsubishi Mirage. This covers model years 2012 to current. This vehicle in other markets goes by different names such as the Mitsubishi Adirage, Mitsubishi Space Star, the Mitsubishi Mirage G4, or the Mitsubishi Adirage G4. This tutorial will cover all of those different vehicles. We will start by emptying out our glove box. Now that we've emptied out our glove box, we will begin the removal process by pulling on the two plastic tabs on either side of the glove box, as shown here, to allow the glove box to drop down to the floor. Now we are able to completely remove the glove box by pulling the glove box away from the hinge pin. While we're down here, I'd like to mention that it's important that you test that the blend door is functioning, as I do here by moving the slider from inside air to outside air. Occasionally when the glove box is full, sometimes things will fall over the back edge of the glove box and get caught in this uh, blend door area. This can seriously restrict the airflow to the cabin and will sometimes be misdiagnosed as a broken blower motor. All right, now that we've got the glove box out of the way, and we're done playing with our HVAC controls. We're gonna start by removing the electrical connector to the blower motor. Now that we have our electrical connector out of the way, we're going to remove the following three eight millimeter screws. One, two, three. Note that these are screws and not bolts as they have a pointed tip and they are self-tapping into the plastic housing. While you watch me remove these screws, I'd like to briefly mention that I own the base model Mitsubishi Mirage. As some people refer to it online as the poverty edition. Because this model has no air conditioning, it also comes standard without a cabin air filter, which is why I'm removing the blower motor to see if any leaves or other debris have been sucked in. Now that we've got the fan out, you can see that a small leaf was indeed sucked in. I'd like to point out that the black tube you see attached to the blower motor is the vent for the motor. Here's a quick look at how dirty the blower motor was. Now we're going to wash it under some hot water to try and get any loose dust off of it. Remember while washing the blower motor not to let water get down that black ventilation tube attached to the blower motor as it will let water directly to the motor and it's not designed to be exposed to the elements. Now I'm going to take a piece of paper towel that's damp and clean between every single fan blade. Note that it would probably have been easier if I had owned a paintbrush. I could have brushed the dust away. Also note that if you break one of these fan blades, you're absolutely screwed. As if you were to operate it with a missing fan blade or glue a fan blade back in place, the motor will be out of balance, and it'll make a lot of noise and it will vibrate and blow the bearing. Here's what it looks like after cleaning. I leave this upside down to dry for a couple of hours before reinstalling. While we've got the glove box removed, I'd like to briefly talk about how the HVAC system in these cars work. 
units. So the blower motor we just removed goes there. Directly above it is the cabin air filter, which I will now remove. So the blower motor normally sucks air through the cabin air filter. And then directly above the cabin air filter, you can see the blend door. On this car, it's manually controlled with a slider for inside outside air. So right now, so when it's open, it's set to inside air. It sucks air in from behind the glove box. I'd like to point out that even while it's open and you're set to inside air, it does not block off the flow of outside air. That's why when I'm driving around in the winter, like a cheapskate with the heater off, I have it set to inside air. You can still sometimes feel cold breezes that hit the front of the car. So now we can kind of visualize the flow of air. It goes through the blend door, through the cabin air filter, to the blower motor, then left behind the stereo, and then up through the heat exchanger, heater core, and the air conditioning evaporator if you had one. I'd also like to briefly mention that this is why if you install OEM style air filters, they are directional as leaves and other crap has to be caught by the air filter. Now that our blower motor is finally done drying, you can put that crap back in. It goes in the same way it came out. You just shove it in the hole and put the three screws back in. I'll be sure not to over tighten these screws as they literally self tap into plastic. Also, don't forget to orient the blower motor so that the black ventilation hole lines up with the hole in the blower motor housing. This marks the end of our tutorial. All that's left to do is to tighten those 8mm screws down, plug the electrical connector back in, and put the glove box back in place. Thank you for watching.